guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are gonna make a kind of festive, patriotic, summertime, Memorial Day wreath. Now, this idea is certainly not my own. It's been all over Instagram and all over, you know, TikTok and Pinterest and all of that. So this is just my take on it. So materials you're gonna need, some type of string or twine. You're going to need um, a wreath form of some type. I'm using this green floral one, but you could use the metal one. You can use anything you want. And the amount of bandanas you'll need will be determined on how big your wreath form is. So I bought 10 bandanas. And I did get these at the Dollar Tree in navy blue. They didn't have any red or white, which is fine. Um, I have fabric scissors because we're cutting the bandana. I have some wire nips, hot glue, um, any materials that you think you're gonna use. I did grab some of this nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. Maybe we'll use some of that. I grabbed out some of my red and white stripe pipe cleaners because I thought those could be fun. Or if I want a different red, I got the red berries that kind of matches the red anchor that I also got at the Dollar Tree. This is gonna be like our little focal point. And yeah, and then I also have some craft scissors to cut other things, because I don't use my sewing scissors cutting other things. So we're gonna get right started. So what I did is I took a bandana, I didn't iron it, anything like that. You open it up, and then you open it one more time and cut down this center crease. So you're gonna have two pieces this size. So 20 by, I don't know, 10. So 10 inches across, 20 inches long because these are 20 by 20 bandanas. And this is what your piece looks like. It's just a half a bandana. You kind of scrunch it up. And here's where I would say be careful. Uh, careful is a strong word. I like my ends here to match up. So I meet them here. And then I just, and I'll show you again. We're gonna do this a couple times. And then you wanna give it a nice good pull. And the front is gonna look like that. And like I said, this is certainly not new to me. Um, okay, so we scrunch it in the middle. I leave my finger here to create that loop. And I just like my ends so that they're even going all the way around. And then you have your circle here, right? So you're putting your circle through. This top is coming around and coming up through. So this is not even sewn on or stitched or anything. Now, if I was nervous, right? Oops, sorry, that this is going to like blow away outside or some such, then I could take for this material some straight pins if I wanted hot glue in the back, anything you want, and you can just pin it down. Staples. Now, if you're using the metal frame, which you can, then um, you'll have to use a different, oh, sorry, kitty. I just stepped on the cat's tail. Um, uh, Wellington's with us. See, I didn't even cut that one straight. And I'll show you one more, and then I'm gonna pause and just do this real quick. It's tedious, but it's not challenging. And then you're just doing a, like an a easy loop through and I like this fabric here. I'm just gonna snip that off like that, and then we're gonna push it together. I don't. I'm just doing this with you. Oops, I got this one backwards. There we go. And you just want. I mean, you don't even have to make sure your knots are on the right side. I am going to make sure my knots are on the right side. Um, so the knot is on the back. For me, and this is the front, but you do you, right? And then I'm gonna put them all on and I'll be back once the wreath is okay. I ended up using all 10 bandanas and then I just went around, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, and I just kind of opened and fluffed everything up so that you get a nice blue back border. I love it. Now this one over here doesn't really want to fluff good, so that's perfect, we'll use that side. I was gonna hang the anchor in the center, which I mean, I totally could, but I really think I want it off to the side. 
So what we're gonna do, first and foremost, is I'm gonna take some of these berries that we all purchased the last few seasons, and I'm gonna cut it right there at that tip, right? Because, you know, that's how I want it. And I'm going to put a little glue on the end. My hot glue gun is not very happy with me right now. And then I'm just gonna stick them under the bandana like that. So we're just gonna keep, keep going. I'm gonna cut one. And because these are on wire, I can really just get them in there and then we can fluff them after. And I'm just putting a little glue on the bottom like that. We're gonna stick you ah, right there. And then what you do wanna make sure is when you're cutting that your berries are going in the right direction. So like here, I'm just gonna pull those couple berries off the bottom and I'm gonna say, okay, well, this is gonna go like right in here. Give it a blob and stick it down in there, right? And then I can fix it how I want it after the fact. So we'll do one more. We also have our stars to attach. And I'm just gonna take you here, pull that off the bottom. I love multi-seasonal colors. The Christmas reds are one of my favorite because I can use them honestly any time of the year that I want, right? Because they just, Valentine's Day, Christmas obviously, we can also use them for like this, for the 4th of July or summer. I'm not really calling this a 4th of July piece because I'll probably leave it out all summer, but it's okay. And then I really want this one to be nice and big. Kind of go into the center. And we'll leave him right there. Let me take my... These are kitchen skewers. And let me tell you, they work for a myriad of things. Including twisting up all of your pipe cleaner. All right, we're going to do one more down here at the bottom. And again, I kind of want a long one. And we're gonna get this one right there. Cause it's gonna go out here. And our anchor is gonna cover all of that, right? So we're just gonna get it down in there, into the fabric. Okay, so we got that. I'm not sure if you're seeing what I got going on here, but I just glued these berries kind of like random they almost look like a firework to me now i'm gonna glue the back here right because we need this to give us a really really good stick right there and then i'm just gonna press it down we need to do that okay that is good now I have these six stars and I'm gonna place them kind of whoppy jawed if you will that's my mom's term and I'll use it now because these have like a lattice to them I'm gonna put the glue onto the star onto the Uh, what are these bandana Lori words and kind of push them down like that and we're just gonna do them um, kind of all over the place and you can also just push them on the, around the edges just be gentle oh and these are those wooden pieces that were already pre-cut which I thought was pretty darn cool if you ask me let's put one right here and i want them kind of just all over the place i don't do random well so i'm trying my darndest how about one over here 
I don't do random well, guys. I'll put that one there. And how about one up over here? Maybe one in here, one up here. I don't know, I don't know. Like I said, I don't do random well. We'll stick it down here. We'll do three at the top, three at the bottom. I like it. Now I have a naked spot over here. Dang it. It's okay, it's okay. Do I have anything? I don't, that's okay. It doesn't have to have something. All right, I'm gonna let all this dry and put um, maybe something over here. Maybe I'll move this star. No, nope, that's attached. We'll figure it out. And then I will hang it on my front door and I will show you. All right, guys, it's finished. I love it. I may put a bigger star on that one side, but I really kind of like the randomness of it. And the, the beads or the, I'm sorry, <laughs> the garland with the berries and the anchor. It just says summer to me, but it doesn't say 4th of July or Memorial or Labor Day. It's just a nice, happy red, white, and blue wreath that I like a lot. So I hope you enjoyed and you got some inspiration from this and you make something of your own. Bye!